Welcome to the venipuncture video. Here we will demonstrate the use of a vacutainer. To begin the procedure, wash your hands, introduce yourself to the patient, stating your name and role. Ask the patient to confirm their name and date of birth and confirm if they have any allergies. Ensure you check all of these details on their hospital name band. Seek permission to carry out the procedure from the patient, making sure that you have fully explained the procedure and the reasons for doing it. Expose both arms and choose a suitable site for venipuncture. Reposition the patient, making sure that their arm is fully supported and comfortable. Ask the patient if they have a preferred arm. Apply the tourniquet to the arm approximately four fingers width above the elbow. At this early stage, it is recommended that you look at the patient's veins in order to ensure you feel confident in carrying out this procedure. If you find the veins are difficult to see and feel, then it may be appropriate to ask someone more experienced instead. Release the tourniquet before leaving the patient. Now gather and prepare your equipment. Please note that you will be spending time in several different hospitals throughout your training. Each hospital will have its own cannulation policy and some of the equipment may vary slightly. Wash your hands again. Clean a dressing trolley with an alcohol wipe. Clean a tray with an alcohol wipe, first on the inside, then the outside. You will need a tourniquet, an alcohol wipe, a vacutainer barrel with needle, blood bottles, gauze and tape. Some trusts require that you wear gloves and an apron whilst assembling the equipment. In this video, we have used a tray with two chambers. We use one chamber for equipment out of the packet and the other chamber for those that remain in their packaging. If you are next to the patient, carry on and perform the procedure. If not, remove gloves and apron, wash your hands and reapply at the bedside. Position the arm to optimise venous dilation and filling. Speak to the patient and tell them what you are doing. Apply the tourniquet 7 to 8 centimetres above the chosen site. The tourniquet should be tight enough to pinch the skin, but not so tight that it will cause pain. Clean the skin with the alcohol wipe according to trust policy. Always ensure the bevel of the needle is facing upwards. Once the needle has been successfully inserted into the vein, hold the barrel securely, ensuring it does not move. Push the blood bottle into the barrel and watch it fill with blood. Releasing the tourniquet at the earliest opportunity will reduce the risk of the sample hemolyzing. Gently agitate the blood bottle in order that the sample mixes with the additive. Place the gauze over the puncture site and carefully remove the needle. Apply pressure to the site and dispose of your sharp into the sharps bin. Apply an appropriate dressing to the site. Please ensure you document this procedure in the notes. Most trusts require that the information on the blood bottles must be handwritten. The bottles must be accompanied by the appropriate request form. Dispose of any waste, remove apron and gloves and wash your hands.